Giovanni, very well done. Can you just sum up what that means tonight, that achievement? Uh, wow. It's, uh, it's been an amazing night from the, from the start. Uh, we, uh, we had the start we wanted. To, to score first. I think that was very important in this game. I think the, uh, the players um, I think were on full speed for the first 35 minutes and uh, we managed to get uh, two goals in, which was amazing. Uh, half time, uh, we knew you know, it's going to be hard in the second half because they, they needed to push and uh, they did. I think the 2-1 uh, after a great save by Allen, you know, just after that they scored the 2-1 and I think I think this was the critical moment, critical moment for uh, for both teams. I think uh, we were uh, we were uh, defending, um, but you know they were coming at us like so with so much speed and so much so much power. Uh, so uh, I knew either goal, you know, would be decisive. And uh, to score the 83rd minute, uh, the, the goal for John gave us the. Not only the belief, I think the belief was already there, but the, you know the energy and power to to play the last minutes. Um, you know, it, in the, um, very proud for for the performance of my of my team. The the interaction with the fans today was amazing. I played so many games here uh, as a player and well from uh, last November as, as a as a manager. But the atmosphere today was was incredible. That helped us a lot and. Uh, you could see the celebrations afterwards. You know, we were happy. We were uh, uh, celebrating uh, to reach the final, also in the locker room, and uh, which was really nice. But I think we ended uh, the atmosphere of of of, uh, of partying, and uh, we took a moment to uh, to let the uh, achievement sink in, and to uh, to have a, a really nice toast of uh, of Jimmy Lee Kidman, who I'm sure was watching it. From above, and uh, we toasted on his life and his achievements, uh, what he's done for this club, and uh, we will miss him uh, for the rest of our lives. And uh, again, in Seville, we're gonna prepare well and make sure we're gonna create another proud moment for this club. David, congratulations, Giovanni. In terms of all the famous nights at the stadium, you've played in several. The team have. Have you ever known an atmosphere like that? Well, I mean, I can. I, if I if I look back in my 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 European nights in the, at Ibrox, I think one comes to mind that when we when we beat Parma, I think that's that's uh, also like uh, an atmosphere like like today, a uh, proud moment, and uh, you know that's why you work hard. As I, I said it many times, you go every time to training and prepare for games and. And, and give all the energy uh, you you have in you to create moments like 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 tonight. So that's um, that's why I'm very proud. Go ahead, and now Kondrovani. Congratulations. Um, you were saying there uh, massive celebrations for reaching the final. You as a player, you, you know what it takes to, to win these finals. What do you do now for these Rangers players to make sure they get over the line and, and bring this trophy back? Well, I just. I think you don't have to do anything different like we've done so far. Of course, the pressure is different because you know it's it's a final, but uh, we have to prepare as normal, uh, prepare the plays well in, in tactics, and also uh, you know make sure we we play in our strength. There's nothing different, but uh, it's also a, a final you uh, you want to play because it's uh, not uh, not given to any uh, every player to play European finals. And uh, you know, finals are always nice if you win them, and uh, that's what we want to do. That's why we work hard, also in the next coming weeks, to to uh, to prepare well for this game. Robert, Thank you. congratulations. Thank you. Can you put into context this achievement, what it is so far for you personally? No, well, I mean, of course, you know, to 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 be manager of a team who plays the European final, you know, it's it's amazing. But so far, you know, it's you know, you're you're like. Working hard to to prepare the team uh, 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 this week, you know where we where we had the sad news of uh, uh, of, uh, of of Jimmy on uh, uh, Tuesday morning. So, you know we had to uh, adjust our, our preparation, uh, which I think was was uh, the right thing to do. But uh, I knew that the players were ready 
today when the whistle goes because uh, you know they gave us so much uh, motivation to uh, to win this game for so many reasons and uh, that's why uh, you know I'm, uh, I was I was very happy with the, with the result. Giovanni, congratulations on tonight's result. Um, you now go into a final against another German side, Eintracht Frankfurt, who uh, you find yourselves further down the league than both Borussia Dortmund and RB Leipzig. Does that put Rangers in a position where they're now probably considered favourites to win this club? Well, if you, if, you, if you beat Barcelona, I mean, that's, uh, you know, it's, it's a great achievement. I think, you know, we have to congrat c congratulate uh, Frankfurt as well for reaching the final. And they, they played amazing games as well in Europe. Uh, you know, we're going to prepare well for this game. I, I know for sure they will too. And, uh, you know, we're going to enjoy the final, make it a, a great final, uh, give everything we, we, uh, we can, like we've done so many games before in Europe, and, and do everything to, to win it. Gio, congrats on another um, fantastic team performance, but to pick out a couple of individuals, I thought Calvin Bassi and John Lundstrom in particular really seem to symbolise your team just now, both tactically and their character, just a word for, for both of them. Well, I mean, it's you know, I think John, you know, he's uh, you know, he's uh, playing so many roles at the moment, you know, because you know, in games, in in, in preparation to uh, to games, you know, I know what he can bring to the team. I know what he brings when he's in the uh, in the back three. I know what he's bring when he's on midfield. I think his development uh, this season it has been amazing. So I'm really happy about his performances. You know, he's uh, he's he's he. As you said before, he, he, he has the character to, uh, you know, to play for this team. And, and Calvin, you know, I, I, I can remember, I think the first game I saw was the last against Hips in the semi-final. And there was one moment where you could see Calvin like, like pushing forward and marking like, uh, with uh, marking forward and, and, and had a great pressure moment. And I, I, I remember the next day because he was very, uh, very uh, disappointed, of course, with the loss. And I told him that moment, you know, I saw what he could bring to this team, and uh, his development has been amazing. You know, playing left back, playing uh, left central defender, and uh, so happy for him because you know both players and all players in my 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 team they come to the training ground, they work hard. You know, they try to improve themselves every minute uh, of the day and uh, to achieve uh, the final together with them and my staff and, and everyone involved in the club. You know, it's, it's amazing. Congratulations, Giovanni. Uh, James Tavernier is currently the top scorer in the Europa League. Are you able to uh, give it an explanation of that? I don't know. I think we have to chase numbers next year for him. <laughs> I think we're going to give him, uh, you know, a higher number because he, you know, he's been scoring so many goals. And uh, you know, I think we 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 told him to. I think also last week he had a moment where we just missed the ball with with, with Ryan Kent's cross. But uh, you know, we told him to be in the second pose every time we 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 come through on the on the left. And uh, you know, again, you know, I think he he scored so many goals from that position and. Uh, you know, very happy for him. You know, uh, as, as a captain of this 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 team, you know, it's uh, it's a very proud moment for him as well. Mark. Coach Tedesco mentioned that he felt that some of his players didn't cope too well with Rangers' physicality. Do you take that as a compliment? Yeah. Well, we we've, we've heard it before. I mean, my my team, I think, is uh, you know we don't uh, avoid uh, the duels. We know the character in this team and and in 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 important moments in the game where you have to you know pressure the team you're playing against i think those moments we wanted to create uh and and, and we did it very well the first half second half you could see you know it was more difficult because it took a lot of energy out of us but um yeah, again, you know, especially in, in, in these kind of games, you don't want to uh, lose your battles. And uh, we have plenty of players in this team who has character to, to win. <coughs> Martin. Giovanni, congratulations. You've been part of a dressing room as a player that's gone all the way to, to win the Champions League, all the way to World Cup final. You know what that sense of momentum is like. Ever since Dortmund, this team has seemed to believe that their name's on this cup, that they're going to do it. They, they don't uh, panic after any setback. Do they believe they're going to win this? this, this well, I mean, I, I said many times before. You know, it starts all with belief. It's it's it, anything you do, and not only football, but the 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 work you do, or if you you have to believe in something, you have to work towards the goal, whichever the goal is, and go all in and go everything and 
give everything you, uh, you, you, you can to, to achieve it. So for me, the most important thing today was the performance we gave. Not about the result, but we have to give the best performance we, uh, we can and, and be the strongest team we can be on the night. And then, you know, eventually it will, it will come to you. And uh, so it starts with belief. So do we believe we can win the final? Of course we can win the final, but we respect the team. We're going to prepare well and make sure we are well prepared for the, for the game we play against Frankfurt. Josh. Just a word to you, that's another time your team recovered in-game, uh, like the last leg against Braga. You must be so proud of the character <coughs> they display in-game to, to recover the situation again. Yes, uh, of course. I mean, it's, uh, you know, you know when, when you are play a game of 90 minutes or even more, then there will come moments where you are uh, very happy or very down. I mean, those moments you can have, we, we, we had those moments. And today also with the... Uh, with the 2-1, you could feel um, that, uh, that 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 they tied the tie. But you know, every goal that that comes in the last minutes will 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 decide this uh, you know this this leg. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy because you know it's not always easy. But again, you know, I think the crowd did as uh, did as good today to uh, to win the moments that we were you know struggling, especially after the 2-1. They gave us the the energy and 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 and, and belief to uh, to go all the way and eventually score the goal with with uh, with John. Ronnie, <coughs> Giovanni, if the, if the fans have an already, they'll be booking trains, planes, out to do anything they can to get to the city of Seville. Uh, should the city of Seville be expecting a an invasion of Rangers fans coming from the, the final? Well, <laughs> I think they can. I mean, it's, uh, you know, everywhere we go, uh, we have very loyal supporters. You know, even in Leipzig, there were many in Dortmund. So I don't think it doesn't matter how many hours they have to fly or to walk or to go with the bikes. I don't know, maybe swim. Some will swim. But, uh, you know, I think we are well uh, presented in the, in the stadium, but also in the city of Seville. And, uh, they have to enjoy it as well. We have great support everywhere. They always, uh, you know, uh, behave really well. I think that's very important for the club. You know, we have we want the image in the in Europe that we uh, we can behave ourselves. I think they they do that in in every city we go. And of course, you know, we we're gonna try everything to to win the final. Michael, just just following on that, Gio, clearly the the team does feed off the fans, especially at Ibrox. Can can that be a factor in, in the final in Seville too? Well, I think I think any team does that. No matter which team you play for, you always want to be successful and to win also for the fans. And the same for us, you know. And our our fans are amazing. They give us the you know the the strength at home, but also away. And of course, it will be a 50-50 uh, uh, um, fans in the stadium. So yeah, it's 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 it's, it's a final to uh, to enjoy and uh, and also uh, to win. All the best. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you.